Hello everybody and um, we hope you're all keeping safe and well in this period of lockdown and um, although we're really missing seeing you all at church, uh, we are rather enjoying the creative responses to the Bible readings. We have created an animation of the road to Emmaus and we really hope that you'll enjoy it. Bye! Bye. Now that very same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that happened. As they talked and dis discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognising him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that happened there in these days? What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since this took place. In addition, some of our women, women amazed us. They went to the tomb earlier this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. But then some of our companions went to the tomb and found just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. He said to them, how foolish you are, how slow to believe all the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, stay with us for it is nearly evening, the day is almost over. And so he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognised him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, it is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told them what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognised by them when he broke the bread. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.